Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another preview and prediction video. Today I'll be doing one on the University of Texas El Paso Miners. Last season, uh, UTEP went 7-6, 4-4 and in Conference USA with two straight losses in the season against UAB and Fresno State. It seems like just recently UTEP has become a team to where they can win close to six games a year after having a stretch of games where they won, barely won one a year. And that's kind of thanks to Dana Dem Demos' uh, work as the UTEP head coach. This is him going into his fifth season with the program, and hopefully he can keep the uh, success going. So, how does their roster stack up? Well, they have a quarterback back in redshirt junior Gavin Hardinson, they also have a redshirt junior behind him in Calvin Brownholtz. So that's a little quarterback competition, maybe. Running back position, you have Ronald Alt, a redshirt senior. Wide receivers, you have Justin, Justin Clark, redshirt sophomore. Then you have a redshirt sophomore transfer at the second wide receiver in Kelly Akari, who came over from Tyler Junior College. Then you have Tyron Smith, a sophomore. Offensive line, you have a senior, redshirt sophomore, redshirt junior, redshirt junior, and redshirt sophomore at the offensive line positions. You have Trent Thompson, a senior tight end as well. On the defensive side, you have a senior, senior, redshirt junior, and redshirt junior on the defensive line. Pretty veteran, which that's a good thing. Linebackers, you have a senior and a redshirt senior. So you got some guys that know what they're doing in... Um, Dana Demo's system. And then the secondary, you have Tory Richardson, Jr., uh, Dennis Barnes, a senior, jo a sophomore transfer, Josiah Allen, who's coming over from Sacramento City College, and safeties, Justice, Justin Prince, Richard Sr., and Colby Hilton, who's coming over from Louisiana Lafayette as a sophomore transfer. So the uh, team, they're um, they know what Dan what uh, Danny Dimmel's system is. They know what to do, and the new guys coming in will learn. So I got a good uh, feel for how I think they're gonna do. So they start the season running with a week zero matchup against North Texas conference opponent. North Texas won. One of the better teams last year in the um, Conference USA. I think this could be a close game between you two. How did they do last year against North Texas? They You lost by three to North Texas last year. You have them at home this year. I think it's going to be another close game, but I do think North Texas comes out with the win again against you, and you continue the losing streak. Week two, you go on the road to Norman, Oklahoma, and take on the Sooners. You're not going to win that game. Oklahoma is miles ahead of where you are, so you start out 0-2. Then you play New Mexico State. New Mexico State, as an independent, is a pretty abysmal team. And um, I don't think they're going to be up to snuff with a team like UTEP, at least in this point in Dana Demel's career as a head coach. So... I think you get your first one of the season at home against New Mexico State. Then you go on the road to New Mexico. New Mexico is kind of a below-average Mountain West team. You should be able to handle them. So that's your second win. You're back at 500. Then you got to play Boise State. Boise State is a very difficult team. It's going to be a very difficult team. I think that... Um, Boise State gets a win in the Sun Bowl, takes you down. They're just going to be too much uh, talent for you. So you're 2-3 and three before going on the road to Charlotte to take on the 49ers. You should handle them. They're one of the uh, lower teams in the Conference USA. So now you're 3-3. Uh, three and three. After that, you go on the road to Louisiana Tech to take on the Bulldogs. And I think get a win here as well. While Louisiana Tech is has some um, is kind of getting back into it, 
under new head coach Sonny Cumbies. It's just going to be a, the fact that the guys under Dana Dimmel know a lot more about what they need to do than the people under Sonny Cumbie. It's just going to be kind of a coach match, coach chess match. It's going to be a close game. I'm not saying it's not, but I think UTEP wins this one. You go into your first bye week four and three. Is that what I got you? Yeah, four and three go into your first bye week. Coming out of it, you have Florida Atlantic at home. I think you win that game. I think it's going to be a close win, though. Florida Atlantic, they're under head coach Willie Taggart. They have Nikosi Perry. He's a pretty good quarterback. It's just Florida Atlantic just seems like a team that's going to be puttering around, kind of stuck in their own way, you know. <clears throat> so now you're 5-3 and three before playing Middle Tennessee State. And I think you beat – or no, no, no. I think you dropped this game to Middle Tennessee State. Middle Tennessee State's just a better run program right now. Then UTEP. UTEP, they're getting better, but Middle Tennessee State's been there for a while. They know how to win. And so I'm going to take the Blue Raiders in this one, and you drop to 5-4. and four. Then you go on the road to Rice. This is where I picked an upset. I think Rice, come. you go to Rice and come out there with a loss to the Owls to drop back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. Rice just seems like a team that's going to get a win over a team they're not supposed to. And last year, let's see, did you play Rice last year? Yes, you did. You only beat them by 10. Rice, in my opinion, do seem like they are getting better, and I think this is going to be a testament to it, where they beat you at home. And you drop back to 5-5 five and five going into your second bye week. Coming out of it, you play FIU. And you'll get a win there. FIU is one of the worst teams in the Conference USA. So you get bowl eligible at 6-5 and five before getting your uh, tail end drug up and down the field by UTSA. So there you go. I think that your UTEP Miners go 6-6 six and six on the year. Like I've said with a lot of these, I could see other I could see like the Rice game going the other way. I could see the um That's the only game honestly I could see going the other way. It's just you can't you have to predict if you're gonna do it like realistically. I'm trying to pick all the upsets. It's hard to do that. But we'll see how I do if I'm over uh five hundred in my picks by the end of the season. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and co-dogs.